My name is Christopher Johnson and this is a demo of how to use Facebooker for Ruby on Rails. We will learn how to install and configure Facebooker and authenticate a user to our application via their Facebook account. Let's start by creating a new Rails application. I will be flipping back and forth between Optana and the command line. Let's install the Facebooker 2 gem, which will also install Mowgli as a dependency. Mowgli is a Ruby implementation of a wrapper for the Facebook Open Graph API. And Facebooker extends Mowgli by adding some helper methods that deal with Facebook Connect and the Facebook JavaScript SDK, as well as dealing with some of the authentication concerns. We need to add a config gem for Facebooker to our environment.rb. Next, we need to create a facebooker.yml file in the config directory. This will hold our configurations for app ID, API key, and application secrets. Just like the database YML, you can put development, test, and production settings in this file. We also need an initializer to read the Facebook YML. Lastly, include a reference to Facebook or 2's controller class in your application controller. Now let's set up our user repository. Since this is a new application, I'm creating a user's table. Since Facebook is the only way to authenticate to our application, the most important attribute of the user is their Facebook ID. So we're going to add that as a column on that table now. If you had an existing user database, you'd want to add a Facebook ID column under your, your existing user table or your customer table. Let's go ahead and run the migration. Now let's start setting up our controllers. We will use two controllers, a login controller and a home controller. The home controller will require an authenticated user and anyone can access the login controller, which is good because that's where you'll go to log in to the application. Now we will create a method to check for a Facebook authenticated user. This is where we start to see some of the Facebooker magic happen. Current Facebook user is a Facebooker construct that is available in any controller that descends from application controller. Having a current Facebook user means that the user is authenticated. And if the current Facebook user is nil, we want to redirect the user to the login controller where they will find a Facebook login button. If the user is authenticated, we want to add a record for them to our users table if we don't already have one. Now let's quickly create some views, starting with the application layout file. By default, this layout will apply to all of our views. Now I'm going to paste in some Facebooker helper methods. 
This code represents Facebook or wrapper methods around the Facebook JavaScript SDK. The code we are looking at provides the Facebook login button if the user is not authenticated. Notice the Perms option, which accepts a common separated list of Facebook extended permissions. These are the permissions which your application will prompt the user for, and if the user accepts, your application will be able to access data related to that permission for that user. You can find a list of these permissions on Facebook's developer site. I'm just going to grab a couple and copy them into my list. In the login controller, we have a single index method and we'll create the associated view. In the home controller, we will use a before filter to make sure that the user is authenticated. This will call the method we just coded. The home controller also has a single index method and associated view. In the home index that we are displaying to the authenticated user, we can use the current Facebook user object to display the user's name. If you haven't already, it's time to create a new Facebook application instance inside Facebook. Typing in the captures may be the hardest part of this demo. Yes! Okay, the important part here is that I'm using localhost port 3000 for my development environment. And don't forget the trailing slash. Here's my advanced options. By the time you watch this, they'll probably have changed since they seem to change about every week. Okay, the application's created, and now we see our app ID, API key, and app secret. Let's go ahead and copy those values into our Facebook or YML file. Now let's start our server. I see the Optana default page, which tells me that I need to add a route to my routes file. When users hit the home controller, by default it should kick them to the login controller. I also need to delete the index.html in my public directory. Let's refresh the page and try again. Voila! Let's log in. I'm prompted for the permissions I set earlier. And now I'm authenticated. Unfortunately, I don't see my username like I expect. There's one last important step. I need to call current Facebook user dot fetch in my ensure authenticated method to make my server make a remote call to Facebook to actually fetch the user data. And there it is. 
If you have feedback on this screencast, you can reach me on my blog, Twitter, or Facebook. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.